Hey everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer. And I'm Jeff. And welcome back to BBA Jeff. Jeff. E3 videos. E3. Have we done videos? No. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> what the heck uh -oh. was that? All right. Okay. So the Ubisoft E3 press conference. We just watched it. Uh, what did you think, Jeff? I uh, I thought it was okay. It was yep. okay. It was okay. Uh, first impression is it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it it was it was it was it was just okay to me. Like there was some good stuff, but there was some stuff. I feel like I feel away. like there aren't too many game series from Ubisoft that I'm super interested in all the time. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll we'll, we'll, go, we'll start we, going down the list. Yeah, of, we can just jump. We can just jump into it. First yeah. of all, there was just Dance 2019. Do we care about that at all? Nope. Nope. All right. So let's move on <laughs> uh, to Beyond Good and Evil 2, which uh, honestly, that looks good. They did not show very much gameplay, but the gameplay they did show looked pretty slick. Like it didn't really yeah. look that much like the original game to me. I mean, are, aren't you down for a space opera? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I, I am down for a good space opera. That's 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 how they coined. That's how they coined I, it. There. I feel like. I feel like they've always shown off like these techie things uh, on the side of the game so far. They haven't really shown more than like the CG cutscenes and the gameplay. Like uh, very sparingly, they've shown gameplay. It's mostly yeah. just been like tech demos and CG cutscenes. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so there isn't really like a whole lot we know about how the game is going to work. Specifically, speaking of not knowing how something's gonna work, I didn't really understand how this was gonna work. But they talked about the. Um, like having users create music and stuff. For oh the game. yeah, they they have like this cross promotion with like Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah, it was just kind of and, like strange. Uh, it, it, he he does like this stuff where he's gonna collaborate with people and they're gonna make stuff for the game. Yeah, and it was like music or they sp like they stressed stuff that it wasn't like a competition. It's yeah. a collaboration. Boy, what does that mean? I don't know. Guess this is as good as mine, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have. I, I, my guess is that it's basically meaning that they're almost like crowdsourcing music for the game and stuff like that. Yeah, in, that's in a way. Of we're taking it. Although uh, I assume that it's going to be difficult to implement. I don't think that this is going to be easy to do. I don't understand. My 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 first impression, if any, there's going to be user content in the game. Oh, so there's going to be a whole lot of memes. That's, that's like, my impression too, but I I think that they specifically they are doing it through Joseph Joseph Gordon Levitt's like company. company so they're thing. going to filter so it. So they're somehow? they're they're going to have like a direction that they're going to go with that stuff, and they're going to be like, we're looking for this, and then people are going to come together to work on that, yeah. and then that will go into the game. Yeah, I but, don't know. Yes, it's hard to say. They didn't show too much of it. I'm kind of excited for it. I mean, it looked really looks graphically impressive. Everyone always says that Beyond Good and Evil is, or wait, yeah, that's the, or, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like uh, is the one. like the first one is very good. I tried to go back and play it at some point, and I didn't get too far into it. Uh, but I think that's just because it's an older game, and I have to really be in the mindset for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but the second one looks good. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 there was space spaceship games with uh, talking animals. Not the only one. Spoiler alert. We'll get to that oh later. God. Yeah, it was the only one. <laughs> All right, so that's Beyond Good and Evil, Jeff. How do how do we do on that segment? Good. We nailed it. Okay, so next was Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six. You're you're the one who's played this game. I played uh, I played like a good an, chunk of it. Yeah, um, like when it first came out. When it first came out, and yeah. I, I had actually been. Thinking about going back because I keep seeing Rainbow Six. Everybody, like a lot of people are playing it. They mentioned it's how many really, people are playing. Apparently, it. it's really good still. Yeah, it, it, I think the community has grown over time. Um, I think so. Well, that's because they've supported it really well. Yeah. Um, and I believe it, that there's like things you like, uh, like passes you buy for like the new updates and like okay. the, the way that they're like trying to. Uh, keep the game going essentially is like every year you keep pay like a little it, bit for like the whole season of content or something like that. Okay. Yeah, so if you're unfamiliar with Rainbow Six Siege, it's a uh, strategic class-based shooter uh, PvP game. You do, you do have characters. There are characters that have different abilities and stuff. Okay, and you see, can, I didn't you know You unlock that. them. It's not like Overwatch where you can just pick them. You have to like unlock them in certain ways. It's kind of like League of Legends. It's like a League of Legends is shooter. You can like <laughs> each class do different things. You have people with shields. You have people that do like set like things off. That I don't know. Fun. Like yeah, there's we should really play it. I had been genuinely I, thinking about playing it again recently, but okay. I didn't know who to play it with. 
So I, I have the game. I bought it. Yes. Because people were playing at the time when I bought it. Yeah. And then I just ne I never. Got Dude, let's play it more for real. I'll, I'll play some. I'll play with you. I'll, I'll play some uh, some For Honor with you if you play some some uh, <laughs> some. We're gonna get to that six siege. But yeah. So they added. They, what do they add? Just add new stuff to it. I guess. Yeah, or? they're gonna add some more content to yeah. it. I, I mean, like it's it's around. It's been it's been, it's been around for a while, like you said. So. I, I always thought that the game was cool because you have to like more strategies involved where you could like shoot through the walls and all yeah. that, all that kind of stuff. You cannot just run in and like, it, yeah, if you haven't played, I think you'd be surprised just how much like, I just have to like, it's like 3d chess and I'm, I'm still playing regular or like 40 <laughs> chess and I'm well, still playing. It's the kind of game that's intimidating to get into because it's like people get mad at you if you don't know what you're doing. I would not know. I, I'm just going to make people mad. Whatever though. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? All right. So after that we had trials rising. Uh, yeah, that looked, that looked actually really uh, solid. Yeah, they had, there were, this is trials rising. Uh, what what was the the name? Just Trials Rising, right? Oh yeah, because the original was called Trials. Trials, yeah. This one's Trials Rising. I guess it's a new game. It seems like increasingly difficult to, to distinguish the differences between, like whether <laughs> between something's a games? sequel or a DLC or like add-on. I or, think this is a completely new thing. Yeah, uh, I think it's a new game. It looks. It, the first thing that jumps into our heads when we were watching the stream is it looks kind of like a S Excite Bike or something. Yeah, like it's that. like Excite Bike on steroids. On steroids. Maybe we could show a little bit of it here because if you don't know what it is, you get a hard like a hard like, you know, it'd be hard to kind of envision. <laughs> the bailouts. <laughs> it's yes. a motorcycle game, and I think it, it's, it's more both... about like tricks, or not like necessarily tricks, you... but. It, you have to be stylish in order to, to keep your momentum things. because yes, like, yes. you're going off jumps and doing things and landing. It's 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 2D. It's like a 3D looking game, but it plays 2D. Yes. Um, and a lot of people like this game, I think, because of like meme like physics. And There's a lot stuff. of ragdolling and just like a lot of bailouts and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they had a whole trailer I'm, where they just showed the yeah, guys like losing, basically. Yeah. At the end, they showed a bunch of wipeouts and stuff. It was pretty yeah. funny. Um, and I, we'll, I'll, we'll correct this on text if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can make your own levels. And that's part of what I want to do. I want to I want to each make levels for each other, and so you can make the hardest that level would be and then make each other fun. play it. <laughs> that would be a fun fun thing, thing to do. I the, think the most ridiculous, stupid level you can come up with. Yeah, and make the other person play it. So trials rising. I'm honestly kind of excited for that. Then we had Division Two. We, I mean, we just saw more of it. We already saw. Yeah, it I don't think we even really need to talk about Division. Because they did we mention eight about players, it. and they added raids. So that's kind of cool. yes, eight players and raids. I, I guess. mean, what's a raid in Division Two? I don't really know, but. I don't know. I don't even remember the party limit from the first World game. But I think Warcraft. it was like I think it was like four or f yeah. five maybe. I, I it was it's small. eight now, so that's cool. Um, Raids. But I mean, what more do we really have to say about Division Two? Yeah, we already kind of talked about it. Yeah, not too it's, much. It's, we don't have to super delve into it. If you if you want to if you want to hear our thoughts on like the uh, other stuff, uh, check out the Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah, it was Microsoft. On Microsoft. One. You can watch us make fun of the of the walkthrough of the game that they did. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, then we had Mario and Rabbids. Uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah, Grant Kirkhope rolls out on the stage, and we're yeah. like, we're like, huh, he's gonna play the Donkey Kong rap. Then they did, for they, like two they did seconds. for like two seconds. Then but... we got into it, and then it. Cut so they off. had this like orchestral, <sighs> yeah, it was uh, kind of cool, uh, uh, musical appearance, uh, and beautiful music. Showed they... off the. It's got it music. They didn't, they didn't... Oh, and there's music. Even featuring music. Oh yeah. There's music. <laughs> they they don't even like really show gameplay of the DK stuff. They just kind of showed like yeah. cutscene snippets. They showed and some overview. like moves. I mean, if you play Mario and Rabbids, you yeah. know what you kind of already like. know. It's gonna be more of that. Yeah. With Donkey Kong now, he's gonna be an actual character instead of like the buff DK <laughs> Rabbit or whatever that was in the game. Yeah. So that was cool. I mean, they actually played some cool music. Uh, very good music. Very good. Good job. Ten ten music. Pizza out of ten. All right, then we had Skull and Bones, aka realistic um, Sea of Thieves. I guess um, <laughs> it's it's so weird to see a game so close to see what Sea of Thieves is. It was going for, I think, yeah. come out, but it's just like more of a realistic. Which, version yeah. of it graphically realistic it, i guess it seems like basically assassin's creed black flag pirate but just the pirates yes much. just that aspect of it uh lots of ship battles i mean i guess that that's I mean that's the whole focus of the entire game it seems like yeah uh and they had levels it, it seemed more rpg-ish than i initially thought it was yeah, going the to ships be. had levels like you, you said uh, that was yeah the, i was I like looking at the, like at the health bars and stuff there's literally like a number and before the health bar which is like the rank or like Dude, level your ship needs to get on my level i'm level 28 ship your okay. ship is a pleb jeff 
Your ship... <laughs> <laughs> your ship is a flip. No, so basically, the game... Uh, or the ships have levels. Uh, we, were, we were looking at the gameplay. There's, like, some sort of rank or level indicator before their health bars. And there's damage numbers when you're shooting your cannons yeah. at the different ships which i was like it, one, yeah, it does seem really fast one based. person controls a, a one ship it seems like even though they have a yes. giant crew it's kind of cool to have the, the crew and not have to do everything yourself i guess yeah i, I would say that's probably the biggest dis- distinction between like sea of thieves and this game is yeah. everyone's on one ship in that game but uh, also, in sea of thieves but in this game it seems like you just control a whole ship yeah so kind of like sid meyer's pirates like action yes game, i do of. like sid meyer's pirates i don't know how much the story will be involved in the game that's what i'm not really See, sure about here's the thing is i don't know how hyped i am for this uh i'm, I'm somewhere in the middle i think i think i want to see how the game plays and they then didn't maybe show a little bit of really gameplay. Fun. That's they kind of showed my... out it was gonna play, but it's like that's different than playing it yourself. Yeah, that's kind of my been my that's kind of my take on the entire Ubisoft press conference. They showed some cool stuff, but didn't see enough of any of it to really know if I'm hype or not. But yeah, let's uh, we can go ahead and move on to Elijah Wood. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, well, it wasn't a light an Elijah Wood game though, unfortunately. Rip the dream. It was uh wasn't it, transference. Uh, transcend- transference. I, think I was like I was, was about called. to say transcendence. transcendence. No, I think it's, tra- it's transference. Yeah, transference. The way they explained it it was like uh, I forgot about this one actually. It looked pretty interesting. It, it looks it, it kind of looks like a horror game a little bit. Mm. Um I, I, how they described it, I guess, was subconscious or like, like changing consciousness between people mm-hmm. but it didn't really s- it was confusing it, did, it was confusing because it didn't really show that in the gameplay that they showed and there was a lot of fmv honestly uh, it seems so, like the kind of game that i if you were, were gonna play you probably wouldn't want to see too much of it yeah anyway because it seems like it would be spoiler territory definitely it seems like a very story it's probably game. it's probably one of those games that takes a little while to ramp up so showing the beginning of the game probably wouldn't even matter yeah yeah, they didn't show too much of it. I'm kind of intrigued by that one. I, I admittedly it, it forgot looks, about that it one. It looks interesting. Until just now. Yeah. Uh, it could be like a pretty high profile spooks game. Possibly. Yeah, I, I, I'm, into, I'm into spooky games, so I, I, I'll keep my eye on it. I but... usually don't play too many of them, but if it's interesting and people are talking about it, I'll probably try it out. Yeah. Not too much to say about it again. They didn't show very much of it, so it's hard to really nope. say. Uh, then, uh, then they moved on to... Uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas. Starlink. Which, which we were joking. As soon as, as soon as this game came on, we started joking about Star Fox and, uh, how, how it would be, how weird it would be to have, like, a realistic Star Fox game. Yeah. Uh, and then then guess what? Guess what? Star Fox! Whoa, Shaggy Miyamoto, shut up! Hi! Hi! Hi. Okay, stop looking. (laughs) You can't look anymore. Don't look at Shaggy. It's somewhat generic gameplay shown, the sci-fi gameplay, I guess you could say. Yeah. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, just Star Fox after is we just were there. talking about it. It was pretty weird. I don't know how we how we freaking guessed that was gonna happen. Maybe it was someone leaked leaked it into our minds subconsciously. Maybe I don't know. It makes sense though when you think about it though, because they did the Mario and Rabbids. Yeah. So it makes sense that some Nintendo character would show up in another series at some point because Mario and Rabbids did really well. Yeah, and it's not not new for Nintendo to to ship some of its IPs off to the third parties. Not anymore you know, back as in the, much. I mean, they did it back in the day too. I mean, Capcom made some Zelda games for Game Boy and things like that. Oh, did they? Yeah, the, the Game Boy games, Oracle's games were Capcom. Oh, those Capcom. were made by Capcom? Yeah. I didn't know that, actually. I mean, unless I'm just wrong. I'm, you for, might be. You're questioning me, so now I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait, I'm on video saying something. Am I wrong? Am I just talking out of my, my butt here? Probably, yeah, but no, they definitely did. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, What was so what was this game even? It's just Star Fox is the only thing I really remember about it. It, it just seemed like a, a space shooter game. Like yeah. you're flying, you're really just flying play, around in, a, in in variety of of uh, spaceships to different planets and things and fighting monsters and other yeah. ships. They didn't show too much gameplay, did they? No, it was yeah. a pretty short trailer. Yeah, so that was kind of the theme. Honestly, this is kind of it was kind of the same with the EA, where it's like not enough gameplay. But they didn't they didn't do well, what EA uh, didn't drag everything on for a very long. If time, you're so. looking for some sort of like space shooter, there yeah. you go. Could, uh, yeah, it's something to keep your eye on for sure. And then we had, after that, uh, For Honor. This is kind of your uh, territory Yeah, this is my here. territory, I guess. I like For Honor a lot. Yeah. You... On the record, bias showing, no. No, it's, I, think it's a, I think it's a solid game. You said you just started playing I it again I just started recently? playing it again, actually, recently. I had not been playing for a really long time. 
Because when the game first came out, it, it didn't seem that balanced, and there was a lot of weird things going on, technically, uh, that people were kind of abusing and exploiting, and, and, exploiting and all, all this stuff. And so it was just, like, not that fun, as, as fun as it should have been. Yeah, and, I remember as well. Uh, we were playing it. Even though, like, mechanically the game is strong. Uh, for, cause it's like, it's really focused on like one-on-one -on -one duels and, and really intense melee combat and just fun stuff like that. And I'm really into like medieval stuff. So kind of scratch that. Yeah, we both me. are hoping to see some mountain blade banner lord. Uh, Come they on, could baby. Be they could, it could be on yeah, right during now the PC, during yeah. the PC thing. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping they, they talk about it. A we got to wrap bit. this up so we can see I if they know. talk about banner lord. I know. But yes, yeah, so they announced basically that uh, there's going to be a bunch of new warriors for for honor, uh, centered around Three Kingdoms era civil war of China. So you get those guys. They announced they announced like a siege mode. So there's going to be a new uh, Castle four, siege another yeah. another four, four on four mode uh, that's going to be like a siege mode, uh, which looks pretty dope, honestly. Uh, as someone who's getting back into the game, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for it. I take it this was the thing you were most excited about. For the conference, though? uh, yeah, probably. probably because I think that game has a lot of potential. I think the problem is, oh yeah, and they, and they also said that there's gonna be a free to play version of the game, like a startup version of the game that you can just go download, which I think is really smart because yeah. I think a lot of the people who were really hyped for the game early on kind of bounced out when it wasn't doing so good, mm -hmm. and this will get a lot of new players back into the game. Yeah, yep, so we gotta play. Good. Yeah, I'll play with you if you play some Rainbow Six. Okay, Siege we'll with me. trade. Yeah, we will. We'll we'll we'll, we'll play Rainbow Six Siege and then I'll bail. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Classic peebs. <laughs> All right. So next was the Crew Two. What the heck is the Crew? I forget. It's just uh, it's like at every all. Don't care all, next. All vehicles, open world game. Okay. Vehicle game. It's like a lot like Forza Horizon. It seems like mm. now. The only racing game that seemed mildly interesting to me was Forza. Yeah. Uh, so far, I mean, yeah, like you're saying, I, I like some, me some arcade racing games. Even that uh, Trials Trials game looks cool to me, but it does have more of an arcade feel. Yeah, I don't get a just whole like ridiculous. Yeah, don't get a whole lot of room for some more realistic looking racing games. Is not my thing. Yeah, usually. I mean, I, I guess we just don't have a lot to say about it because we we're just not into those kind of games. Yeah. I don't know if those games will ever, I'll ever be into those kind of games. Bring a new crazy taxi. I don't, I want that. <laughs> like <laughs> crazy taxi. Bring it back. All right. Give me a, you here to watch our E3 video. All right. The crew too. I just kind of want crazy taxi like that. That's, that's my, that's my expertise to offer. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not related at all. I just want crazy taxi. People like our opinions on things, right? Yeah, we're Crazy really taxi. qualified, <laughs> highly qualified individuals. Anyway, whatever. We clearly don't have anything to say about the crew, too. Yeah. Let's just move on to the last game that there was, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Yahoo! Uh, Mario, you know? All right, that's that's really uh, as good as I can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what are, your, what are your thoughts on on what you saw? Because you're not much of an Assassin's Creed person. Yeah, not, neither am I. I but uh, I played the first one. I played the and first that, two. I, I didn't. I was like meh on it. And Our first three. I had this friend who was kind of a jerk to me. So I don't I don't care saying that I don't really like him very much. I can't he, believe it. He. I mean, I literally haven't thought of him in years. But I just remind. <laughs> you're getting he's like. A, he's you're getting a, triggered by these flashbacks of this guy who was mean to you. He was a plebeian gamer, <laughs> and he loved Assassin's Creed, and so no, no, I don't roll like. Roll it back. Roll it back <laughs> in. Roll it back in. He liked Assassin's Creed, therefore I hate it. Yeah, basically. No, but no. for real though, Assassin's Creed Odyssey has got this whole Sparta thing going. Yeah, on. so it's it's very. They called it a on... role playing journey. It does seem more RPG ish than I remember Assassin's Creed looking. I mean, I guess in the last one, Origins. Uh, they started doing more RPG stuff. It, it's easy game. to miss Assassin's Creed games now because they do one like one like every year. They do like one Ubisoft's every year. I mean, I, I think thing. Origins, the one that came out last year, there was a two year gap. That was like the first time in like nine years there was like a or no, I don't know. Yeah, I think like eight think years right. or something like that that there was an uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, early PS3. I think the first Assassin's Creed. Yes, came out. It, it came. Yeah, that it was a lot. It's been a long time. Yeah. Uh, this one's all centered like on uh, Greek mythology a little bit. Uh, well, ancient Rome. And Greece and Sparta, and you, and you can play as guy or girl. you can play a guy or a girl. I'm actually kind of interested in this one. I think a little bit. I am too, for some reason. I, don't know. I, I think it has a lot to do with the okay. setting. Yeah, I, I really enjoy ancient Greek 
Greece and mythology Rome and, and Greek mythology and all that stuff is really interesting to me. They even teased it's going to be more on the possibly mythological side. There was like a Minotaur at the end for a second there. The the combat especially, I, I don't know if that piqued my interest super a lot. Yeah, I honestly don't think, I don't like third person action combat games that much. It seemed a little stiff. So it did seem a little stiff and kind of like not super fluid and like... But, yeah, but, but they had more of a focus on leveling this time. Yeah, it I think like. I, there was some ship stuff too. Like there the, was some ship stuff. Uh, the thing I think the thing I'm, I'm this is the kind of game I'm I'm just gonna wait and see. If people say yeah. it's really good, I will check it out. If not, I'll probably give it a pass. But yeah, like you mentioned, I'm interested to see how far they go with the whole mythology stuff. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be what <laughs> uh, makes me more interested or not. Yeah, to be honest. Because it seems, it, they, it seems they, like they always ground them in reality they, a bit more. They've also shown in past games, I mean, say what you want about Assassin's Creed, they've shown that they're not afraid to branch out. They did the whole pirate thing with Black Flag. Which people they're, say is, like, one of the better Assassin's yeah. Creed games. So, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to, like, change it up. Maybe they'll maybe they'll really put a heavy focus on the mythology stuff. They teased it a little it's at the possible. end. It's possible. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. They, didn't, they, didn't show, they showed a little bit of combat gameplay, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. There was, like, some story stuff where they had, like, a couple branching path decisions you could make. Yeah. But that... Pretty that, simplistic it, stuff. It was, well. like, it was, like, yes or no. Yeah, lie or don't lie. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, so... Pretty well, standard I, fare for games these I, days. I, I, I'll check it out. If people say if it's, it's good. good, I'll probably check it out. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, so, what do you want to... What do you... What do you... What do you give it Ubisoft ranking them overall? What was your... What was your um, feel? I'll, I'll go, like, seven, I think. Seven out of ten? Yeah. I'm 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 going five out of five. 10. Honestly, yeah, two just, point different this time. Yeah, but finally we have a slight difference. I I I was a little underwhelmed to be honest. Some of the stuff that they showed looked like I could be interested, but you know some of the more interesting stuff like Beyond Good and Evil, you know, uh, it's like oh they're still working on it. Yeah, so I just I didn't get enough of a taste to really feel excited about anything. I'm excited I'm, for the For Honor stuff. Yeah, but see, well, that, that, I'm, I'm excited about some more Rainbow Six Siege content, but that game's already out. Like, stuff like Yeah, that. a lot of these games have already been out. I didn't even know how much I really care about the new Mario and Rabbids expansion. I don't know if I'll play it. Like, I, I probably won't play it. I like I'll be the first one. Flat out honest, I will probably not play I probably it. Won't I'm not play a huge that. I'm not a huge tactics person on I, top of it just being like I'm probably just done with the game. I like tactics games and I liked Mario and Rabbids, but yeah, I did too. Sort of similar to the RPG, Mario RPGs and stuff. It's a little more simplistic of a tactics game, and yeah. a little bit easy. I you mean, know? it's easy. It gets harder. Yeah, it, yeah, it's true. It does get harder. But I just, for some reason, I'm just not. In, I'm not interested. I'm just gonna probably do a hard pass on Donkey Kong, uh, the Donkey Kong one. I mean, it's cool they're doing it though. I know. What, what about the Star Game or this uh, the spaceship game with Star Fox in it? What you, did, did it not? I stand don't even out? really know what it is. Like I mean, that's true. It, it, just, it didn't stand out. All I remember was Star Fox is there. Like I know that's literally. You know. Even the crowd... They only in, cheered when Star Fox Yeah, it was like, up. Star Fox shows up, they're like, yeah! Yeah, yeah. All right! <laughs> yeah, so I don't even really know what to expect. That kind of wraps up Ubisoft's like press conference for me. Yeah. I, they showed some stuff. I don't really know what to even think about a lot of it. Yeah, so. I think that... I don't know why I'm giving it a 7. I think it's just... I think it, it's, it's fair to give it a 7. I just It's I'm, average. It wasn't. It didn't blow anyone away. I don't I, think. To be honest, I think I'm going average at five. Like that's like a fifty. That's, I yeah. mean, that's not like really average in the U.S. testing scores. Like but. it was passable. It wasn't yeah. amazing. Just passable. Yeah. I mean, some of the games could be good, but who really knows? I, I want to play Trials Rising. I'm so excited about that. Yeah. I want to play the Four Honor stuff. We'll play some Rainbow Six Siege as well. Yeah. Well. But yeah, that should wrap it up for Ubisoft. Uh, a little bit shorter than some of the other ones, but uh, we will hopefully have this out before the Sony press conference. We'll see. If not, all right, right after. If not, probably. yeah, right after that. So if, if this is before, make sure you check out uh, the Sony press conference. We'll be live streaming that on Jeff's Twitch channel. And then uh, I know for a fact... As long as everything's working. <laughs> yeah, as long as everything's working. And then I know for a fact I'll be streaming Nintendo tomorrow, uh, Tuesday early in the morning. I'll start at 8 a.m. PST. So join me there. Jeff may stream it. Or yeah, may I might join be streaming me. or join you. Yeah, if he gets up. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks, guys. It was fun. We'll see you at Sony. We're going to get this video edited as soon as we can. And uh, check out our other uh, press conferences videos. We got like, um, you know, EA, maybe EA. Well, let's put all three of them up. Yep. There. Are there There's a few of them now. Yeah, so it was, check them out. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Did we do good, Jeff? Bye. Uh, did no, we, wait, did go, we do good? No. Oh, yes, we did good. We nailed it. We nailed it. We nailed it. Yeah.